Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here. And we are back in the wandering village. All right, guys, let's see what do we got going on down here. Our little villagers are doing stuff. Have I said that I like the artwork on this game? I really do. I wish we could rotate, but I do like the art. And I'm considering moving this. The only problem that I have is I don't know how to really get extra resources yet. Like, I know the trees regrow, but I don't know how to get, like, extra stone. So I'm kind of I'm kind of hesitant about, like, moving certain buildings. But I really wanted my road. Uh, a scavenging party returned. Okay. So we've got that. So what I want to do is, what do we want to do? What options do we have to build? Because we don't have the tutorial anymore. Uh, that one's kind of done. So let's try to figure out what we can do here. Let me see, let me see, let me see. We've already done the research. What are we on research? Oh, a tomato plantation. Uh, what are we on our current research? We are on... Ah, we're on corn. Okay. So we've got... We've got the scavenger hut. I've got the doctor. Tomato plantations. Probably going to be next because it has a one. Well, I don't know. That has a one. But that has a star. Huh. Let's look into resources. Dung collector. Collects dung from the onbu, which can be used to pro... Produce biogas and fertilizer. That might be a good one, too. Anbu Kitchen makes mushrooms into Anbu food. That one's probably one that we probably need to get done. All right, well, let's let stuff keep going here. Uh, where are we at on, on the big map? We are approaching food. Scavenging party is ready. All right, let me pause this and let me see. Already scavenged. Uh, settlement. One of the few remaining settlements that has not been swallowed by poisonous plants. Some villagers might want to join us on Anbu, depending on our villagers' happiness. Now, I don't know. I don't know if we need more villagers. Um, we have zero idle. You know what? I'm going to send a party out because we have zero idle. So, let's... Uh, Let's send them out. Let's see, because we might actually need a handful more villagers to progress beyond where we're at. Because I'm not seeing, I'm not seeing anybody over here. Like focus worker. Yeah, we might not have. We might not have it. I don't know. All right, let's see here. There we go. All right, so let's see what else can we build for right now. Let's see, the pantry. We've already got a pantry. How full is our pantry? Um, we've got... Oh, we've got room. Yeah, we've got room. Stores, all kinds of food for the villagers. What do we got here? We've got berries, tomatoes, beets. Okay, so it only stores 50 beets. Um, where is the kitchen? So the kitchen is taking berries and turning it into that. But what about like, ah, here we go, beet soup. Uh, so it'll take the berry musel and what is this? Beet and berries. Okay, so yeah, let's try that. That will make, what, five of these soups, I think? Yeah, let's try that. Let's see what happens. Let's go ahead and speed things up a little bit here. See if we can't make some some food going. Up, oh, we got an event. Hold on, what do we got? You encountered a group of settlers looking for a new home. Will you let them join? Pick them up. I think we're about to get double settlers because two healthy people joined, two hungry people joined. Okay, well, hungry's hungry's probably acceptable because I think we can feed them. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? Raw food, sixty three. 
consumption 58 production plus three okay so we're gonna have to focus on making food i'm not exactly sure how to do that oh wait we got a new tutorial thing villager needs as your population grows so do their needs if you manage to fulfill them their happiness can exceed 100 percent have at least 20 villagers achieve at least 100 percent happiness Remember to check your villagers' needs by the happiness bar. Okay, so here is this one. Okay, population level camp. Uh, total housing. Ah, so if we get better housing. Unemployed idle. We have two idle. We have six. No, we have two idle unemployed. And then we have six unemployed idle. Okay, so we have extra extra people. Let me see. Can I employ someone in, in here? Let's add a second worker in. Let's see if we can't increase our food production. What do we got over here? We've got the stone cutter. Um, and I've got the farm. And then I've got the herbalist. The herbalist, we are doing water for herbs. And then the doctor we have, yeah, we have a few of those. I'm wondering if we need a bigger farm and more farmers. That's kind of what I'm thinking. Is can and man, it'd be really nice if I could do like other other types of farms. But I'm thinking maybe let's do like that. Let's see how let's see how they handle handle this area maybe I need one more I'm gonna put one more worker in there we're gonna see if we can't increase our food okay so we've got the onbu feeding trebuchet and the onbu doctor let's open up the stuff let's go let's go to the onbu all right we're on onbu so we've got the kitchen we've done the kitchen or we're doing the kitchen uh, you have two scientists. Research speed is 100%. Okay. Can be used to launch food for the Ombu to eat and decreases its hunger. I really think that one would probably be good. Yeah, let's do, let's do that. And let's see if we can't improve some of our village happiness here. So, I know that there was a thing for, um, oh, what's it called? Uh, I'm having a brain fart here. Uh, a better house. And I thought about doing that, but I think for right now, I'm going to focus on gathering up some resources. I want to make sure that we are good. Yeah, go ahead and gather up all that stuff. That'll keep them. That'll keep them busy for a minute. We'll see what we can get going. Let's see the farm. I don't know. The farm seems. I don't know if that's too many, it too much for it or not. I'm kind of thinking we need one more person in the farm, to be honest with you. I'm going to add in a fifth person and we're going to like supercharge the farm here because we are up to 95 on the happiness. So maybe, you know, maybe jobs helping uh, make people happy. I don't know. Food quality, well, it could be food quality, too. That might be where it's coming from. If we keep making all this beet soup. Yeah, I think. Uh, how many how many idle people do we got? We've got three. Let me make one more, one more person in the kitchen. So we're going to have a lot of people working on the farms, a lot of people working in the kitchen. Um, how are we doing on water? Are we draining it? No, we're not really draining it at all. They're they're keeping up with water production pretty pretty nice. Yeah, pretty steadily. We're up to 97. All right, oh, we got a crossroads. Hold on. 
if you have a horn blower and are pro uh, approaching a fork in the road, you can give Anbu a command to tell it which path to take. Do this by clicking on the crossroads on the world map. What is that? Small poison forest. Oh, we've already turned, haven't we? Why would why why on boo? Why did you turn? Uh, did we really turn? Like I don't remember. I don't remember that being a thing. Um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Okay, so that's the crossroad. Your decision lies in your past. This decision lies in your past. Yeah. See, I don't have a crossroads coming up. Man, that just popped up, though. That shouldn't have... That shouldn't have been there. All right. Scavenging party. Um, you know what? I'm going to send you... I'm going to send you out to the quarry. I want you... Oops. I want you to bring me some stuff back, I guess. We'll see what, what we got going on. We're going to have to deal with the doctor stuff, so I hope we have plenty of herbs on hand. And we got, yeah, we got up to 97 on our stuff. Okay, well, hopefully we get this done before before we hit that poison forest. I, I would have rather have turned, but I guess we missed that crossroad. I didn't realize it was coming up. Uh, unsure about which path to take at the upcoming crossroads. Yeah, we we missed that one. Okay. Anbu evacuated his bowels. Or its bowels, I should say. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Let me see. What do we got here? There's a worker post. Um, what else was I looking for? Don't we have a... Yeah, we have the berry hut up here. Uh, I can always add in more people to that if I needed to. I don't know. We're kind of... I don't know if I'd say stuck, but we're kind of in a... In like a holding position. We're not really improving any, but we're not really going down either. Um, how are we doing on food here? We've got... See consumption, production total, processed food thirteen, raw food eighty-nine. Yeah. Scavenging party returned, they brought back thirteen stones. Okay, so y'all brought back some stones. What is this? Already sent a party here. We've got this crossroad. I'm going to tell it to go north or south. Wait, what? How is increases toxicity levels and spawns poisonous plants? Okay, hang on. Let me get back onto the onboo here. Let's make sure we don't have any poisonous plants on us. Um, I'm going to do the hut and see if we can't increase our happiness. This is our first poison forest, so I'm hoping that we don't get... Uh-oh. How do I... Yeah, let's get rid of it. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Oh, man, we got stuff all over us. Uh, Poisoned berry bush. Oh, man, not my berry bush. Okay, let's get rid of this. And are we clear everywhere else? No, no, we're not. Poison the berry bush. Oh, there's some more of them over here, too. Come on, guys. Get out there and burn this stuff off. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah, this stuff grows so much. What are you doing out here? Are you doing things? Oh, you're having to come way down here to take care of this stuff. Yeah, this is this is not good. Not good at all. Okay. Oh, and he stopped. What are you doing? Uh, moving to kitchen. Okay, um, let me get to... I need more people. That's what I need. <sighs> go north or go south? So, can I turn... Like, we can't go this way? Like, where is... Is there a compass? Like... How do, how do I know which way is north? I mean, because to me, that's north, so... I'm going to go south. All right. We're going to try to do that. Uh, let's see. What do we got? Poisonous plants have started growing on the Anbu. If not dealt with quickly, they will spread infecting plants and poisoning villagers who go near them. Remove all poisonous plants from Anbu's back using the harvest tool or a decontaminator building. Yeah. Okay. So we've got 24 of them left that we're going to have to get rid of. Hopefully... Hopefully we can do this. Um, actually, I was going to send out a party, yeah? Maybe? No? What is this? Already scavenged. That's a mine. Holds iron. Okay. In the forest, mushrooms or wood. Okay, so really there's nothing here that I can do. Um... Yeah, we're just going to have to let it... We're just... Wow, that's so much... That's so much stuff. It poisoned all these berry bushes. Man, I am here. I was thinking we were going to be here for a minute. Oh, this is not good. So not good. All right, did we clean... We still haven't cleaned up all this stuff down here. There is still more infection going on. Yeah, I'm not sure how to... I don't know how to get more people to, like, help. Um, the decontaminator needs to be researched first and requires fuel to burn the plants, but its employees are fully autonomous and can't be poisoned unlike regular workers who destroy them. Via the harvest tool, remember to use the priority tool to destroy poisonous plants more efficiently. Priority tool. That's what we need. That is what we need. Alright, let's prioritize getting these things killed. Yeah, I don't care what y'all go and do. Get them, get them out of here. All right, let's let it run for a minute. Part of me says maybe I should shut something down, like some extra workers on the farm or something. I mean, how are we doing on food right now? We've got a lot of food. Let me try that. Let me back off a couple of the farmers and see if maybe we can get some other people going out and doing things. Because we just need this, like, cleaned, like, in a hurry. I mean, do I really need a stone cutter at the moment? We've got 34. You know what? I'm going to disable both of these buildings. We're going to give, yeah, get as many people out here clearing that as possible. A couple extra hands ought to help. All right, let's see where we're going. We haven't really moved anywhere. 
Are we move? Yeah. You know, oh no, he's sleeping. That's what it is. Okay. I was like, why aren't we moving anywhere? Anbu doesn't trust your command. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Um, I'm going to open up the research tree. And I am going to look at... The decontaminator. Yeah, we're going to look at the decontaminator. I didn't get that research right. Decontaminator. No, nope, no, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. We're good. So did I get the hut? We do have the hut. Okay, so yeah, let's let them get decontaminated first. And then let me see where we're at with stuff. Make sure we are clean. Uh, they got a little bit of stuff right here. Dead plant. I think that's everything. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's everything. All right. So how big is the hut? Oh, the hut's, the hut is quite sizable here. Okay. So how about this? How about I run... I run this over here and it's going to take wood planks and stone slabs to make huts. Um, I'm going to say, let's give them a full, oops, wrong one. Let's give them four, four huts and let's see what happens. Let's see if we can't improve our happiness stuff over here and we'll get that going. And I'm going to go ahead and put my population back to work doing its thing let me check the big map over here oh hold on it says we still got two poisonous plants left uh oh hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on hang on there's one where's the other where, oh, where did the poisonous plant go? Is that it right there? That is it right there. Okay. Alright, we found both of the poisonous plants. Let me knock those out real fast. Okay, those are, we got one left. Productivity 102. Nice. Alright, let's see where we at on the big map. We are moving, we are doing things. Um Quarry, send party, mine. You know what? I'm gonna send uh send form yeah, let's send them over here. Let's get that mine. And we'll we'll get resources that we don't have right now, and maybe we can use them here in a bit. All right, so housing housing quality two amount of beds six versus only two beds. So each one of these is six. So that's six twelve. So that's twenty four versus two four six eight ten twelve. 14 16 so yeah we've got we've got a whole whole bunch of a, a increase there that's that ought to help us out quite a bit quite a bit all right what are we researching right now we are researching the decontaminator nice let's keep researching it And I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe cut down a couple trees just so that they have some more wood. Cause yeah, we used up a little bit of wood there. 
Uh, let's see, this place contains some fresh food for Anbu. Is Anbu eating? I think Anbu was eating. Yep, it looked like he was eating. So good. So hunger zero. Sleepiness is at 25%. Uh, sleep spot right there. Nice. All right. So we've got a settlement up here. Let's go ahead and send them a party. And I am liking where things are going. Okay, so now we've got the decontaminator built. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and do the Onbu Doctor. So, let's see. What did we What did we just finish with? Um, oh, the decontaminator. That's right. Uh, that'd be under poison. Decontaminator. Wood planks and stone slab. All right, so where do I want to put him at? I'm going to put him, like, right here. And let's go ahead and let's do another road. Uh, no, don't do that dirt road. Yeah, do it right there. Wait, that guy actually comes back down one. Oh, you're one of those funny shaped buildings. All right, hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, where would be a better spot to put you? Because I know... You would fit there, and that building would fit there. I don't want to move it just yet. Not yet. Let me... Let me put it here. We'll just put it down here and we'll see what we can do. I don't know. Alright. Where are we at with stuff? Anbu has entered a mountain biome. Alright, so we're going this way. Have we no settlement? Decide. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and pick them up. We've got two healthy and two hungry. Which is okay. That will give us how many... How many extras? Uh, we've got five idle. We've got zero un, unemployed. Have they made it here? Hold on. Up your village needs... Uh, hold on, hold on, hold on. Pro population level up. Your village needs have increased. Check them in the top bar. Village needs. Where is village needs? Uh, food details. What is this? That's our research... Population detail. Onbu. Uh, Humidity is normal. Cold, normal. Elder's notebook. Bug report and pause menu. Yeah, I'm not seeing... Hmm... Yeah, I'm not seeing it. Um, is it in here somewhere? Let's see. Population level. As your village grows, its population level will rise. This leads to increasing villager needs such as higher quality housing, food, and more food variety. The demand for higher housing quality can be satisfied with tents, huts, and cottages. The demand for higher food quality can be satisfied with a higher amount of refined food and the demand for higher food variety can be satisfied by producing more different d 
different kinds of food. Food quality and a variety are engaged are gauged by taking into account the last five meals every villager has eaten. There are four different population levels. We have got basic, your villagers demand at least a tent. Camp, your villagers want to eat at least two refined foods in every five meals. And your villagers not only want to live in huts, but they also demand three refined foods and at least two different types of food in every five meals. Uh, we got village population. You'd see your village demands standards of a real village. They want to live in cottages and eat at least four refined foods and three different types of food in every five meals. Okay, so that's what it's that's what it's saying is we need to increase our our food to two refined foods every meal. All right. Well, I guess we're gonna have to get another uh, another kitchen on the go, and maybe even another farm so that we can cook something different and get different meals going. But anyway, guys, that's kind of kind of what we're faced with right now. So we're gonna increase our food production and then increase our cooking and see if we can't satisfy everyone. But that's gonna be it for today's video. I do hope everyone has enjoyed it. If you have, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It is an awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video, and to the game itself. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, I'd like to stop, take a moment, and thank each and every one of y'all for all of your wonderful, awesome support. All the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared. It is awesome. I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.